gears. When it comes to dating someone new, do you feel the need to befriend your new partner's pals as well? Because according to Zoe Dachanel's, Dachanel's website, Hello Giggles, becoming friends with your significant other's friends is worth the effort. Have you experienced that? Do you feel that's true? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think you need, when you are with someone and they have their friends, you know, that's a part of their life and they're important to them. So if you want your mate to be important, you, you need to embrace But what embrace if you just her. don't you like them? You gotta suck it up. And I, you know, I suck it up sometimes. My husband probably sucks it up with my friends and you just suck it up. I suck it up, but I, I have <laughs> no, like, no poker face when it comes really? to not liking someone. And you can just read it on my face. And I know I'm polite, but you just know I'm not that into you. And so I have a lot of my husband's friends come up to him and say, I don't think Lance likes me so much. And the truth is, it's, it's <gasps> true. I don't. I Wait, really you don't. just let the cat out of the bag No, then. but it's true. I mean, there's certain friends, you know, and I'm sure there's some of my friends that he doesn't like either. But, I, they're, you know, they have a slightly different worldview than I do. And, they're, you know, some of them are just spoiled rotten. And I never was, I know, I was, yeah. I was never raised with privilege around me. And, you know, my husband grew up in an area that was very privileged. And I just, I've never understood that. And I can see how it can He's kind of run children. never understood children. privilege, ladies and gentlemen, well, Lance Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Child, he's, a, he's a regular Shirley he's a Temple. Can I just say to your significant other, you go and have dinner with so and so. Wait, Wait, done, you don't I've have to do that. that. Yeah. I've done that. Look, I don't like. Jerry doesn't like all my friends, and I don't like all his friends. But we do try. I try more than. I, this is where I married my father. This is where I married my father because he was like, if he didn't like you, it was like, like boom. Oh. Otherwise, he was charming. But yeah, Jer and they're like, I don't. He doesn't. The friends. I don't think Jerry likes me. I'm like, he. You have to go to him because he's the son of a bitch. <laughs> because it always happens that I meet one that's cuter than the guy I'm with. Oh. And then oh. it's like that sexual tension. Really? Yeah, and then once, you Have know, you ever acted on that? No, I've never acted um. on... No, I've never acted on it, but I know that once the friend knows me, I can't have him if something happens because it's the friend code, you know? Yeah, you, so you I, like to, I like to be that. hidden so you don't know that I was hooking up with your friend so I can hook up with you in two weeks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to get used to the fact that my husband has a lot of really, really beautiful female friends. Oh, and that yeah. was hard at first because it, it's easy to get jealous. 100%. Oh, sure. so yeah. what did you do? I just, like you, you said, I... No, <laughs> no, I, <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I, I just kind of sucked it up, too, and, they, and they're wonderful. You know, a certain, you have to have a certain amount of trust. Well, you got to bring your enemies closer, too. Isn't that that saying? Well, yeah, there's that as well. Yeah. You have to try with your, with your partner's yeah. friends. You've got to try, and it's got, it's got to go both ways. Otherwise, it, and it is worth trying. All and right. then you try, and if it doesn't work out, you're like, they leave. It's him or me. Yeah. All right. You know. All right, moving on. Looks aren't everything, but there is a debate on Vogue.com that we found pretty interesting. Audience, would you date a man with a mustache? Yes or no? Yeah, no, pretty weak there. Well, some find a mustache off-putting and say that facial hair is laziness. Others are intrigued by this sort of mustache throwback. They call it sexy. I just think of Tom Selleck, oh, and no. I go, yeah, baby. I yeah. mean, look at that man. Have you guys, either of you, ever sported a mustache? I can't grow one. It would no, take I me can't. about two months to grow enough where you could see uh, my mustache. I, I, I've had a, not a full mustache, but I've had a beard, a goatee I had. But what's had ironic about Yeah, I had a goatee for my first Broadway show. Oh, show like, I, I, I bet you look like Dick Dastily I with all that. <laughs> we have pictures of both of you, what you would look like in a mustache. Uh, really? There we go. Oh. Woman to a, ra a railroad track. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like you're, on the, you're on the railroad. Both of you even get. I look like a porn star. Yeah. Okay. I really look like a French detective. That is <laughs> weird. <laughs>